Hello everybody, welcome to video number two of the five features that I've been working on for Excitebike in PNP4. This video will focus on the second feature work, which we worked the player controller. Try to say that five times fast. This feature was added fairly later and was approved by the scrum masters after looking it over. This was done because the collision code that I originally started with would have had to be moved to the player controller to give more ease to the game. This feature ended up reorganizing some of the base code made by another student used to control the motorcycle. The purpose was to add the collision to the player controller and reorganize the code itself so that each function could function separately and it could be called easier to other scripts whenever they needed to be called. To do this, I had to find the script that held all the player's controls, reorganize functions, add the collision code, and then test if the player collision worked properly with the new code. Now, if you didn't see the first feature video which focused on the collision working properly, I will basically be repeating to show the collision code, the updates done, and that the collision does work properly. So I'll be going back to Unity. And to first, I will explain the updates I did to the player co code called Motorcycle Movement. This was done by Levi Roberts, which will be shown here. Scroll up. Here, Levi Roberts. He did the base code for the player movement. In the rework, as you can see here, I added the collision against AIs that are tagged enemy. I moved the movement logic to a player movement function, and then I added other references. Here it says. To show what I did, I added the private float time elapsed, this way that the collision would have a timer. Again, I did the if start time equals true. We recreated the player movement so that it would be called here and moved all the original controls to void player movement, which you can see here, all done by Levi Roberts. Underneath all this is the collision for the player against AI, collision to game object tag equals enemy, and to show that it works properly, I will again play the game scene show the player moves up and down, run him into an AI model, he won't move for a set amount of time, and then crash him into another one to show that he can't move for a set amount of time, and then he can keep going and play the game properly. 